has become the epicenter of the pandemic. The death that a could be linked to a SARS virus that killed hundreds of people in 2003. A mysterious pneumonia has spread to China with scores hospitalized by the illness. Chinese authorities first notified the World Health Organization reported confirmed cases on the total death. Four costing suicides. Experts say these trying times have led to increased suicide. Many others. The family now says she has taken her own life after describing the whole statistics are startling. We're getting a new look at the toll the coronavirus is taking on her mental health. The reason the pandemic was a pandemic. Suicides. Sati- suicides. Taken her own life. Oh, the coronavirus is taking on her mental health. Pangatlong suicide sa pangunahing dahilan ng pagkamatay ng mga kabataan na sa anus 15 hanggang 19. Sa ang mental illness sa mga sakit na walang pinipiling edad at kayamanan, maaaring isa sa mga kaibigan, kapitbahay o pamilya mo ang nakakaranas na Ako si Johanna Marie Manuville at ito po ang aking mental health awareness at promise. Naniniwala po ako na ang mental illness ay walang pinagkaiba sa ibang sakit katulad ng cancer at sakit sa puso. Isa lamang ang brochure na ito sa libo-libong paraan upang makatulong sa isyu ng mental health. At tumaasa akong makakatulong ako bilang isang mag-aaral, membro ng lipunan sa pagpapalaganap Whenever Richard Gorey went downtown, we, people on the pavement, looked at him. He was a gentleman from soul to crown, clean favored and imperially slim. And he was always quietly arrayed, and he was always human when he talked. But still he fluttered pauses when he said good morning, and he glittered when he walked. And he was rich, yes, richer than a king and admirably schooled in every grace. And fine, we thought that he was everything to make us wish that we were in his place. So on we worked, and waited for the light, and went without the meat, and cursed the bread. And Richard Corey, one calm summer night, went home and put a bullet through his head. Start caring for our mental health more. I'm thankful that you're still alive.